Nothing like a cold can of Pepsi Max to start off your day in the grind, boys. For those who may remember, at the start of the year, I said I was going to recreate the Group Iron series I roughly started when we first made these accounts two years ago, and that I've been doing a terrible job of. Well, four months later, I finally decided, uh, decided, decided to get off my ass, get out of bed at a reasonable time, and actually record some footage. I've got the Abyssal Sire that I'm killing here because I honestly can't be bothered bursting Abyssal Demons. At the moment, I've done 11,000 of them, and... I've got three abyssal heads, so I figured why not disappoint myself with some mind talisman drops and keep you guys an update on what's happening with the group iron. For those who don't come to the live streams, you're definitely going to be out of touch a little bit here. But for those who have been uh, to the live streams, uh, I guess this is a rough recap for you guys. Uh, that I'm going to try and put a lot more effort in. Uh, not so much this episode because I haven't got any footage backed up yet. It's just going to be me talking and killing the sire. But in future episodes, I'm hoping to... Um, get a lot of footage backed up from my live streams, which will just be clips of, uh, I guess, big drops and big moments. Any sort of levels or anything that, that I think is important or, or could go on a, a video like this. I uh, just, why am I getting smacked? Just so I can, uh, do a bit of content, like, in, in the background. I'll make a, a video on the group iron while doing some bossing or skilling. And then just drop a couple clips here and there, giving you guys an update on what's been happening. So, that's kind of where I'm looking to take the direction of this series at the moment. I hope that makes sense to those watching right now. Uh, sorry if the game sounds are a bit loud as well, but the Abyssal Sire, I'm not going to lie to you boys, with the Void Waker, it's absolutely fucking amazing to kill. Look at this. Smack him again. Get the fang out. Give him that fucking... Bah, bah. And he's dead. Too damn easy, boys. And we two ring plate, but it's actually not a bad drop from this boss. I'm, I'll definitely take that for sure, especially since they're noted. So this is going to be the start, and I'm hoping that... Uh, the it provided you enjoy the series, there is enough people that will harass me to continue making these videos if I somehow fall off the wagon again, because that's a common tendency I have at the moment, is is just um, starting a video series, and even though I'm enjoying making it, I just stop because I just get too lazy, or, or something comes up. I, I, I will admit, I don't like to keep uh, mention, or at least have my content revolve, my per revolve around my personal life too much, but I've um, been having uh, personal family matters uh, that I've had to deal with, um, regarding like parenting and, and I've had to um, take some time away from video creations and focus on streaming because it is easier to just uh, focus on just streaming at the time and keep interacting with my audience while I sort things out. Uh, for those that might even be remotely concerned, I'm all good uh, and things are looking good. Things are coming up fucking millhouse. But just recently that's been my main distraction from making a lot of videos. But uh, hopefully going forward I no longer have these problems and I can focus more on content like this. So my plan is to continue making group iron videos at least once a week, once a fortnight, depending on the sort of content I can get together, give you guys some clips, keep you updated. My main goals is, other than to obviously blow up and act like I don't know nobody, uh, is to basically do as much collection log and combat achievements as possible. I eventually want to hit master combat achievements, but I'm, I feel like uh, the point system will be out before I... I'm able to hit that legitimately because we just don't have the gear at the moment on the Group Iron team to achieve certain time-based uh, time goals, unfortunately. Uh, that doesn't necessarily bother me. I think as long as the end goal with the point system is the same for Grandmaster, um, there's really no devaluing the credit of people with the Grandmaster helmet, which I think is the main purpose of it anyway. Collection log-wise, I just, I'll go for anything, anytime. Uh, I, do, I try to do group content, or at least community-based content with you guys, the audience, on stream weekly. Um, I'm trying to start that at least anyway. Fortnightly, I've been doing Wildy Boss content, which uh, we've been doing Callisto because I'm trying to finish the log. I just need the claws and the ring. Then I have green log to Callisto. Um, and then every other week, I'm trying to do like a skilling based one. Like at the moment, I'm looking at focusing Winter Todd until I hit 99 fire making, then maybe Temporos, Guardians of the Rift, uh, Zolcano, things like that. So. Uh, I encourage you guys uh, on my streams, which are on my about page on my channel or in my Discord, come to the live streams on Tuesdays if you want to get involved in some community grouping content. More than happy to have anyone at any time involved in the content and just fucking wing it, you know, make some make some good moments. Uh, so you get some really good clips out of it, especially in the wilderness. Uh, the peaking potential, especially when we go out and start ba bashing on groups. Nothing better. Uh, sorry, nothing looks better than a group of 50 people bringing crossbows, ragging a five-man team trying to count the uh, the rev, uh, the sorry, the woody boss cave. So 
you absolutely want to, if you don't want to at least partake in it, you don't want to miss it live because it is honestly good fun. I'll try to click that content as well. Just have like a, uh, like a Callisto series where basically while we're trying to greenlock Callisto, just come up with a bunch of different clips from the stream. I might try to do something like that as well, but that's kind of the direction I want to start taking a few things from this channel amongst making uh, or remaking a lot of the guides as well that I once made at the start of the channel. I'm trying to save that stuff or at least the guide content for later in the year um, because the missus is coming over to visit me and I want to just kind of bank up a bunch of content then so I can keep releasing videos while I'll be distracted doing other things, of course, which I think is fair. I don't really want to put on the brakes at all with uh, my YouTube content because I'm addicted to it and I absolutely love making content for you guys. So I'm um, just trying to space out everything. I don't want to just upload five things a week. I've never had an unside from this boss. I'll tell you what now. That is something I would absolutely love to see because nothing nothing speaks uh, content like getting your fourth abyssal head and it'll be the the fourth one will be from the uh, the first abyssal unside you ever get in your name. So hopefully we, our luck isn't that bad, but I would love to see an unside from here eventually. Otherwise, uh, like yesterday, well at least this week, I pulled a twisted buckler yesterday on the stream. I'm gonna try to put a clip here right now for you. Good luck. Good luck. A twisted buckler. Okay. I mean, almost up 40. Yeah, it's not bad, eh? Almost up 40. I've already had one of those, so. I'll take it. Another one for the team. I'm pretty sure I've had one already. I have, it's my second Buckma. Not bad, good size. That's the third Twisted Buckler for the team. Obviously it's the wrong Twisty B. Uh, we do have one Tebow, but that's the second Twisted Buckler in my name. Uh, my log's actually looking really good for the raid. I'll quickly pull it up here if I can. I think I just need to finish my log other than the pet and the uh, challenge mode capes, um, which I've only got the first challenge mode cape. I believe I just need the Dragon Claws, Kodai, Tebow, and Ancestral Top in my name. So we're looking pretty close to uh, green logging outside of capes, hopefully. I'm, I'm looking for the pet because I got the dust really early. I've got two ancestral kits, so... Cox Luck is actually turning around on this account, which is nice. Why am I... Don't use the fucking Void Waker yet. Shit. Okay. Not good. Another grind that I'm currently uh, trying to push out is the Mossy Keys, because I need a Briar Fighter Essence for a Master Clue, and a lot of people are saying you should drop the Master Clue because this, that, and the other. I look at Clue Scrolls as an excuse to grind. I don't have uh, the level requirements. The Master Clue says I need to get it. I'm going to go grind out that requirement because I think that's... Oh, what? That's massive. No fucking... What, Earth Orbs? Fuck yeah. Uh, sorry, that kind of you know, got my freak juice flowing. Uh, I think that that's a good way to kind of set your own goals and achievements in the game. If you're unsure what you really want to do, is when something comes up, make that your target. Make that your achievement. And for me, in this case, it is the Master Clues. I just finished a Master Clue I had in my bank for one year. It was a year-long grind trying to get the Bandos Cloak. I was very lazy doing it, but eventually I got it. Next Master Clue, now I need the Bright Fighter Essence. I've done about 20 keys this week and got nothing. So... Um, eventually we'll pull the essence, hopefully me or someone on my team will, and we can get that master clue done and look forward to the next grind. But otherwise, yeah, um, speaking of next, or next if you will, I do plan on going to next soon in the near future with my team properly, like we're going to camp a bunch of KC and actually uh, try to pull some Van Braces and some Torva because I think that's more of a, I think that's going to be a lot more fun of a grind, especially with four or five of us. If we can pull one more Fang, that would honestly be amazing. Um, it's just a little bit of trial and error learning learning next as a team, but we have it down pretty well uh, Dying in there is obviously a risk because if you die and then you go back for your KC and you don't have a, a, a Ancient item you could lose your gear pretty easily. So it's just a matter of being careful as well, but next pretty keen for that 
I'll just finish up this kill and pretty much wrap up the video there because like I said, I don't really have any uh, clips or content for you guys at the moment, unfortunately, which I do apologize for. Um, but in the future, I plan to make uh, as much content as I can from my live streams, just taking big moments and clips to be able to push into a group iron series for you guys to keep track of. Also, uh, on top of that, the YouTube shorts that I've been putting on my channel, uh, Ryan and Samantha have been doing a good job at keeping on top of that as well. So if you see content you like in the streams or the videos, don't be afraid to clip it and put it in the Discord under the Clips channel because the, the guys will, will love nothing more than to turn that stuff into a YouTube short content because it's the way of the algorithm at the moment. It's a lot of fun and you just get to see some of the, the cool moments people enjoyed from the, the videos. Never, never, never fucking lucky, of course. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I think I had to say wrapping up this video. I'm out of run energy. I should bring more stamina down here, I think. Seven is... Oh, God. I'm just wasting run energy at the moment. Yeah, I think that's pretty much going to wrap up uh, what I wanted to say. I want to smash this pizza, and I want to look at making some videos um, around other content. But for the Group Iron series, this is a rough start and a reintroduction for those who may have been looking forward to this content or want to look forward to this content. If you're unable to make the live streams at all or consistently, do not worry. I'm going to do my best to keep you updated through video content. If not weekly bi-weekly, fortnightly, I think the word is. Um, if you have any suggestions, questions, anything you want to see me do, or any uh, anything you want to learn, my life's an open book. You can ask and say whatever you want. I'm more than happy to help out those who uh, take their time out of their day to watch my content and, and help me just uh, keep a, a presence online. So I appreciate that, guys. Uh, we're already halfway through this kill. We'll wrap up this kill here quickly and see what we get. I don't really know what else I've got to wrap up at the moment. For those who haven't seen, we've had three drops as a team now from Sunday Nightmare, which one was in my name, the Volatile Orb, then Will pulled the Inquisitor's body and then a an Harmonized Orb. So we have a Harm Orb, but no Nightmare Staff. So when we get the, the Nightmare Staff, things are going to be pretty big. I just got my third Inferno KC the other day as well. So uh, the world record continues of three attempts at the Inferno and three KC, which is obviously a staple of the, the greatness that I obviously achieve in this game. I always uh, try to remind people, especially those looking to learn the Inferno, don't look at my achievements of having deathless KCs as uh, the stepping stone or, or the inspiration to how you should be doing the Inferno. Just accept the fact and be grateful that you happen to be living in a time of, I'm going to fucking die. Stop! Ugh! A time where uh, my <laughs> greatness is present. What the fuck is that drop? Look, obviously I just lost my train of thought then. Hannah Montana Banana Basket. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys uh, in the next upload. But hopefully this is the sort of video series that you uh, want to see me pursue. So let me know down below if this is something you're interested in. Because, well, you're going to be seeing it regardless of gender. Have a good night. And uh, fuck you. This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. you got a big boy. Look at him. God damn. Fuck, mate. Look at that boy. It's huge. Oh, no.